Greetings. I am a Cuba Kenny Segan artist. I am with a uh, 19, is that a full 72 or early 73 linoleum block print called Tom Mooney, Political Prisoner. One of my uh, first two kind of social justice politically oriented uh, linoleum block prints. Another one I did at the same time, the fall of 72, is called Vietnam which was based on, a, inspired by a photo of a woman who was about to be shot in Vietnam. And uh, Tom Mooney was an American kind of labor hero, martyr, uh, was, uh, if I recall, was um, imprisoned after pol a police officer. Officers were killed uh, during a riot, which was going on during the general strike in San Francisco, I believe in 1919, but I'll have to look that up. This is the actual block. Linoleum they made back then was called, um, like battleship linoleum, if I recall it. And it, much better than linoleum they sell in art supply stores nowadays. It held up, like, really solidly. And has been printed now and then over the last, what are we talking about, something 80, 90, 02, over, over 40 years and it's still in, in perfect condition. The um, lino was uh, reproduced in a poster published by the uh, Department of English at Southern Illinois University at Carbondale, where I had transferred to in uh, 1974 from Champaign, where I had done my freshman year over a couple of years at Parkland Junior, now Community College in Champaign. This is the uh, poster. 1975. Later on, when I was in my last year of graduate school at the University of Missouri at Columbia, I did a uh, large mixed media piece. This this was actually a, a reproduction published by West Publishing Company in St. Paul, the law publishers, who flew me in to sign uh, their printing of these, and uh, I received uh, 75 copies for myself, of which I have a handful still, and uh, it faithfully reproduced the uh, original mixed media work, which I understand is housed and installed in their Long Island, New York office. Uh, and you'll notice uh, most of the artwork was um, ink and gouache, but I overprinted in different layers. Uh, uh, some etch etching plates that you can see in these kind of black and tan sections, as well as two linoleum block prints. One being the Aztec calendar stone. Here's the actual block, which I believe I did this also in 1972. It featured Che Guevara in the center, the idealism of youth being what it is. And then I overprinted the Tom Mooney uh, over the... Um, in different ink colorings over the um, Aztec calendar stone lino block and if you look closely you can see the prisoner peering out. The artwork, the mixed media artwork is called The Prisoner was later published in their uh, not only in the West 80 Art and Law catalog, the exhibit at the Minnesota Museum of Art, but in the West's uh, coffee table art book called The West Collection in 1982 to which I owe Many thanks to um, their uh, now retired uh, vice president of public relations named uh, Jerry Kafejian, who uh, had organized the art and the law exhibits. Later on in 1982, I had another work in an art and the law exhibit, which I have to unpack here, called um, The Prisoner of Conscience Dedicated to Lek Wawensa and Solidarity, Polish uh, activist for freedom, the trade union movement, and so on which ultimately led to the collapse of communism in Poland and all points beyond in Eastern Europe and in the Soviet Union as well, for which we hold Lech with revered thanks. Uh, I'm an opponent of dictatorships of the left and the right. There you have it, the prisoner uh, and Tom Mooney, American labor hero.